Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lesson, we are going to uh, continue with the remaining letters in Arabic alphabets. How to join them? So we look at uh, lam, lam. So this is your lam. And if lam is in the beginning of your word, so you draw like an alif, but you can join it to the next word. So you draw this line. So this is your lam. If lam is in the middle, so this is from your previous letter, lam can be connected to the previous letter. So you join the lam, you write the lam, and then go down. And you can also connect it to the next letter as well. So this is your lam. And if your lam is in the final form, so this is from your previous letter, this is your lam, and uh, complete the original shape of a lamb. So, these are the three shapes of lamb. Next letter is meme. Meme. Okay. For meme, sometimes you see a different way of writing meme. So, this is a meme. Sometimes you see they write like this. This is also a meme. And sometimes you see they write this this is also a meme now let us connect the meme so if it is in the beginning you just take the head of the meme this part of the meme and join it to the next letter if meme is in the middle meme can be connected to the previous letter and what do you do next is just to draw a small circle so that is your meme and if meme is in the final form so here this is from the previous letter you make a circle and you go down okay so that is your meme next letter is known known so known known the rule of known is similar to the rule of ba ta and also tha so known can be connected to the next letter known can be connected from previous and also to the next letter and when it is in the final shape so this is the known okay so these are the three shapes of known next letter is ha ha okay. ha if ha is in the beginning okay this is how it looks like you draw like a dal and then you make a circle so this is your beginning ha and it can be connected to the next letter if ha is in the middle it can be joined to the previous letter and what you do next is you draw this shape so this is your middle ha and it can be also connected to the next letter and if ha is in the final form if it is if uh, it can be connected to the previous letter so this is from the previous letter and then you go up and make a half circle so that is your final ha and if ha if the letter before ha cannot be connected to ha so what do you do is you just draw the original ha again. So these are the shapes of ha. Next is the letter wow. Wow is similar to the rules of ra and also zai. So this is your beginning wow. It cannot be connected to the next letter. This is your middle wow. It can be joined to the previous letter. And this is also uh, the same goes to the final wow. Again, this is the final wow. And finally, the letter ya. The letter ya. So, when ya is in the beginning of the word, it takes the form of a ba. But with two dots. So, this is the ya. And it can be connected to the next letter. If ya is in the middle, it looks like a ba as well. But the difference is that you have two dots to indicate that it is a ya. And when ya is in the final form, so this is from the previous letter, 
what you do next is you go down you take the original form of ya okay so this is your final ya let us look at some examples okay let's say you want to join lam to mim to non to ha to wow and to ya so this is your lam it can be joined to the next letter you make a line and then mim okay this is your mim can it be connected to the next letter yes non can non be joined to the next letter yes ha so you look at ha how how do you do draw ha if ha is in the middle so that is your ha and then from ha you join to wow can you join to the next letter no so you stop and what do you do next you write the ya okay so lam mim non ha wow ya another example we want to join ha ya non ha mim so ha this is your beginning ha and this is your ya okay and this is your non and now you want to connect to ha again so this is your middle ha and connect it to mim so you have ha ya non ha mim another one 